Bottom, more met at all they got. <laughs> what have we got there? It's just water. It's just you water. Okay. Oh, did you not get a drink? I asked for vodka. If, that, if that's. Uh... Yeah, that, that, that's <laughs> no, that's the one. That's yeah. nice. And so here you are, musician. <laughs> I'm Irish. I'm Irish. I find it difficult. Yes. <clears throat> um, not as difficult as I do, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> because they let them talk, which I believe has the highest pre sales on iTunes of any album ever. Wow. <laughs> That sounds incredibly unlikely to me, but I'm not going to be the one to contradict you, because why would I do that? Exactly. It's not in my interest, I'm bigging it? it up. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And presumably people have been a bit surprised that kind of British actor has done an authentic blues album recorded in New Orleans. Well, I don't know. You are one of those people, so... I'm surprised. You're okay. Thank you. Thank you. I, Anyone I, else I, surprised? I'm, a, I'm surprised. I'm a, I'm a little surprised. She's a little surprised. <laughs> well, well yeah, yeah, good. Um, yes, possibly. I don't really know. The whole thing is such a dreamlike experience for me. I can't really tell. Um, I'm looking forward to reading about it in, about, in five years' time, when I will, you know, it'll all sort of seem real. Well, because I mean, was you, you love music, because in, even in Friday Night you were always at the piano and everything. Yes, yes. But, I, uh, but is this kind of what you want to do now? It is what I've always wanted to do, actually, and... <laughs> <laughs> absurd though it may seem. <laughs> It's, it's what I've always wanted to do, and uh, of course I've come to it by a, ra a rather odd route. Um, and but I got this amazing opportunity to sort of reinvent myself, and I took it uh, I, with both hands. I mean, you're gigging as well. You're gigging. Uh, we have done now three gigs. Yes, three of the most frightening experiences of my life. <laughs> but they, they went well, didn't they? They did go well. They yes. did go well. Uh, we've got one more uh, tomorrow night, Saturday, in Manchester, the Manchester Royal College. And then if you fancy a day out, uh, why not go to Paris on the 11th? Right. Uh, yes. Because what I didn't know is that, that house in Europe is massive, isn't it? It is rather large. It is rather substantial. Yes. Um, I, I can't account for it I, because it seems to be such a wordy show. Uh, such a sort of densely wordy show that I can't imagine how it gets translated uh, well enough. Um, I mean, shows where people, you know, which involve guns and, you know, get in the car or get out of the car or, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, that's the dialogue. I can, I can understand that going well in, in Belgium, for example. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I picked on Belgium. They're little. Um, and there are no Belgians here. No, there aren't. <laughs> but... Uh, um, you know, it's something, it's something like House, which is such a, um, an idiomatic and, and, and witty show, I think. I think it's in, in, extremely funny, extremely well written. It, it's, an, it's amazing to me that people are prepared to, you know, they, they really sort of uh, get into it. Yeah. And are European fans more reserved than Americans, or are they...? We had a slightly frisky time in Germany. Uh, the Germans were quite uh, assertive, how can I uh, let me put it that way. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying they conform to any national stereotype at all. <laughs> because they really were charming and friendly. But if things don't go their way, I had to get on a train uh, to leave Germany. And uh, there were a bunch of people with autographs, you know. And, and, and I said, look, I, I'm going to miss this train. If I stop doing, I'm going to miss the train. So they started tearing up the photographs and throwing them in my face. <laughs> and saying, go back to England. <laughs> That, that's actually what I'm trying to do. <laughs> and then they, they would... Uh, what I didn't realise, that the, 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 uh, the German word... Well, it's not a word. The German for boo is not boo. <laughs> when, when Germans boo, they go ooh. <laughs> so I had people, after they'd done all that, and they, uh, they'd said all their German things, um, <laughs> I was running for this train, and I, all I could hear was people going, ooh. <laughs> uh, it makes you wonder, what am I... Uh, am I uh, and it was only when I got on the train and I realised that that's what they'd uh, been trying to communicate. And in America, are the, are the, are the American audience, because obviously we know, we know who you are. Oh, yes. We, we know. know everything there yeah. is to know. Uh, yes. But in America, are they aware that you're a British actor? Uh, y yes, they are. They are, by now. I've been doing it a long time. It's seven years now. It is a long time. And I've said it over and over <laughs> again. Uh, 
<laughs> so yes, they, they, by and large, they are. Although the interesting assumption that America, that a lot of Americans will say in a kind way, they will say you managed to lose the accent. And I, it, which always strikes me, I have to sort of explain that I don't, I'm not losing an accent, I'm putting one on. <laughs> You're the one with the accent. Yeah. 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 But no country can think that way. Every country thinks that they were issued with a... God issued them with an accent. And everyone else is just putting it on. But, but Robert, do you, do you kind of speak in American accent all the time? Or do you... I mean, becoming more so. I mean, it's weird, especially in America, because people can't... Like, you literally have to translate yourself sometimes. Especially in New York and things like that, if you're in a taxi and you try and say an address, you have to, you have to say it in an American accent. It's crazy. You do, if, you like, you and if you order a water, if you say, can I have a glass of water, they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they say? <laughs> but even being American, you must have had a, a stronger southern accent. When yeah, you... I, I, had a, I had a super country accent like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I think my mother still really thinks that you're an American. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Wow. I think she actually thinks you're a real doctor, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. We're, about, we're about to hear some, uh, some music uh, from the album. What, what are you giving us? I'm going to do a song uh, with my uh, chaps over there. Who are kind uh, of New Orleans all-stars, aren't they? These are, they are. These, these are these, legends. These are, these are legends. And uh, it's my stupidity that I, I don't know. It sort of is. Yes, I feel so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, a song called, uh, a lead belly song called You Don't Know My Mind. All right. Well, uh, if you want to go and get ready, I will uh, you, very good. My breakfast on the